Foreman brought this up from the ER. Doesn't look like a friendship bracelet. No nasal cancer. And no marriage either if our patient keeps saying everything that comes into his head without regard for the consequences. You always led me to believe you were one of a kind. I don't mean to be abrasive. Especially since you're such a pleasure to imagine naked. It's okay. Thank you for understanding. I do you, though. Whoa, I would do her in a minute with fudge and a cherry on top. I've already embarrassed myself with one doctor, whom I am at this moment, imagining with you in a king-size bed with a mirror on the ceiling. I am so, so sorry. But if I couldn't have both of you together, you would definitely be my first choice. Oh, he wouldn't have paged me if he couldn't watch and enjoy the... Your tush is like the pistons in a Ferrari. You're welcome. That was for my benefit. You're 40 years old. 38. But that guy can only tell the truth. He prefers your body to that of a smoking young hottie. That was your way of saying I look good today. You don't get the slightest kick out of that? Sandy Koufax is Jewish. Greatest left-handed pitcher of all time. Sandy Koufax is all you Jews going about. And the Holocaust gets old. The dog marks his territory all over the living room. He said he put a glass of juice on the floor while he was fixing the television. Dog was fixing the television? Yes. Still near the brainstem. Nobody's gonna touch it. Your boss would. He's an egomaniac. I know, because I keep seeing him at the club. I had colds all winter. I've been in this room a while. But it's spring now, right? It's not life-threatening. It's not important. Luckily, neither are you. You ever tried to pee on yourself in public? It's not easy. I'm sorry, I rushed the Jewish frat. We peed in private. For good reason. I could spot a fake seizure. A cat predicted my death. Cats make terrible doctors. Oh, no, wait, that's women. You're screwed. If you're gonna kill me and rape me, Please do it in that order. This is the cat, Debbie. Have you heard of her? Debbie. Sorry, but without a last name. She only sleeps next to people when they're about to die. Can you come back later? I have some business I'm conducting with the Prince of Nigeria. <laughs> Quick! Before she goes without attention for eight seconds. <laughs> she's faking. The cat told me. Listen. Confirm she's faking, or I'm gonna have to kick her out. I'll give you 24 hours. Consecutive? What are you doing? No, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Why are you pushing a crash cart? Because patients sometimes crash and they haven't yet invented a crash tractor for me to drive wildly around the hallways. I told you to get rid of Death Cat. You see a cat? I see a litter box. This is a disability, Dr. Cuddy. Can't make it to the men's room on You pee on the mice, too? Well, now you see, the mice actually prove that I don't have a cat. Are these the genetically modified lab mice from oncology? Genetically modified for tastiness. I told you about the test. Tal? I'll never say, but yes. How do we know the urine is still brown? Had to be. Once you've gone brown, I've got to stop telling you my theories. You always just try to prove me wrong. The theory about Cuddy's ass getting bigger at the full moon? I confirmed that one. Photos on my blog. The cat was not predicting deaths. It was just trying to keep warm. Yes, dead people are renowned for their warm glow. Cut down. Cat pee on my chair? Blood on my face? Fake blood. Why are you still alive? I'm not sure. I guess he was impressed that you stood up to him. And got a cat to pee on his chair. Yeah. <laughs>